You're in the front right here. Uh, first of all, congratulations on your victory. You've long said this week that winning this light heavyweight title was your destiny. So now that you have achieved this, what are the emotions going through your head right now? <coughs> Satisfaction. Satisfaction after a long, long time of preparation and making my style uh, ready to defend the tough wrestling style and make a surprise like a submission. <laughs> well, going off of that, you said immediately media day you spent the long layoff preparing to fight someone like this with wrestling and jiu-jitsu and everything. And you even said, I don't play jiu-jitsu. And then you go and submit Glover in the final round. So are you overall satisfied with how the fight played out with your grappling and wrestling? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm satisfied. But, but some moments like you, you saw, there was a... Uh, Glover was in a, he had an advantage, yeah, and, um, and his pressure was, was amazing, still in his age, amazing, a very, very tough fighter, but doesn't matter, doesn't matter what, what, what the fight takes, you have to give that. You said in your post fight interview that you you were lazy in there, that you could have gone for the stoppage at times. So what, what moments in there were lazy? Because from the outside looking in, it was a very exciting fight. Yeah, in the stand-up, I was a little bit lazy to, to, to set up, set up some uh, situation uh, to prepare him for, uh, for, some, uh, for the knockout, to watch, to watch in, his, in, the, in, the, in, the, in his striking, to see him, to see the moments, see the uh, the right places, and catch it. Yeah, that was my laziness in the in the fight. Did anything he do surprise you? He? Yeah. We knew all these things, what he ha had to do, and, and it, he was successful in that. Fuck. So, so I have to work, work on that. Not just work in the in the work in the on the training, but work on myself to stop do it, do to stop do uh, things. What is What is not good to uh, in, the, in the fight, yeah? But just do the things. What is effective to defeat the opponent? Yeah, I think that was the, the big mistake. And then finally, as champion, you now have everyone chasing you. You, you, everyone wants to reach you and fight you. Uh, Glover tweeted, how about a rematch, Jan? We saw you and Jan talking after the fight. You have Anthony Smith and Nikolaev coming up. Glover, he spoke about the rematch? He just tweeted, how about a rematch? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't matter if it will be Glover or uh, Jan. Doesn't matter. For, for me, it doesn't matter. For, uh, for the next fight, um, I swear it will be another fighter, not like that. That was not good performance for me. Then finally, when we saw you and Jan had a little interaction after, what was he saying to you when you left the octagon? What is he saying? Yeah, what, is, what was Jan telling you when he was yelling at you? Uh, Jan, Jan. <laughs> he was uh, so brave. And he, and he, he told me uh, something about our fight, so I shared the energy with him. <laughs> so I, I will, we will see. Uh, we will see. I will be. I will. I will be ready. But just give me a little, little time to repair my my uh, my face and to realize the mistakes from this from this fight. Yeah. Over here. Um, 
Jay, after a fight like that, just how are you feeling physically? Uh, a little bit tired. A little bit tired because uh, I have to give in the fight 100%. And not, not just... Uh, not just... Uh, to do what... what uh, to do just beautiful fight, but I... I I had I had to give them give in the fight 100 percent and uh, I'm glad for maybe I'm glad for that I'm glad for that that fight was tough and it was not easy. It was one of the greatest fights of the year, great one of the greatest fights in light heavyweight title history. When that's happening and it's unfolding, do you realize that you're involved in an all-time fight, or is it something you can't understand until maybe a while from now when you watch it back? What's that what you mean? People are saying that was one of the greatest fights ever, yep. or at least in light heavyweight history. Yep. When you're doing it, you're fighting him like that. Do you understand or do you realize how great of a fight it is? No, it was from my side. From my side, it was horrible fight, horrible performance. Yeah, it, it, honestly, honestly, you 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 saw you saw that fight. I was just some moments. I just survived some moments. Yeah, and uh, my plan, not plan, fuck, it's not plan. It's that's my stand, my life stand, to be dominant in the in the fight. Yeah, and. Uh, not be just survivor in that. To be the hunter. Yeah. Does it that 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 will be the, my next. Uh, that will be my next fight, and I will show that I don't want to fight like that. It's a uh, it's a tough. It's uh, full of blood, and it's not it's not beautiful. No, maybe for you it's beautiful. You, you like to be entertained. But for a fighter, I like to, to fight clean, yeah. Does it give you more confidence though, knowing that you could say you fought horrible, but you're sitting up there, the winner, with the belt in front of you? Does that make you, does that give you more confidence going forward that you can think you fought horrible, but you still won? Yeah, yeah, sure, but that most important is I know where was the mistakes. Where, 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 where I did the mistake in, in my preparation, in my, in my life, and what I have to change to, to, to the next fight. And there was that moment in the fifth round where he seemed like he hurt you and then he jumped to the guillotine. Um, how hurt were you in that moment? And it seemed like a lot of people think that was a big mistake by him. What do you mean? Which moment? In the fifth round, when uh, he jumped for the guillotine, he he had a guillotine. No, he tried to, and then he slipped off after he had seemingly uh, hurt you. I don't remember that. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Sorry, but uh, I just <laughs> from these moments are for me just a little. Uh, but I know I was in a good position. <laughs> I know I was uh, in a good position, and he left me to, to to take his neck, and he have a big, he he, he have a big hat with big bones, yeah, and a, on the chin. So I use that like for uh, against him. And you, you have to take well, what, 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 what the moment gave you right now. Yeah? And that was the, he had a free neck. So I took that. And last for me, how long do you think it's going to take you to recover from this? And ideally, when do you think we could see you fight again? This year or maybe not until next year? Uh, I think this year. I think I want to fight, I, I want to fight this year. But I'm not in the next month. I have to repair a little bit my face and yeah let's let's go. Got some over here. Congratulations Yuri. In the fifth round what were you thinking of? Did you think that 
Glover was leaving. What were your thoughts in those seconds before you were able to slip that submission? Yeah, I told, uh, I told about his, uh, I was not, I did not, uh, not enough to end him. And man, he, I, I, I strike him and I shoot, I, I shoot him a lot, but he was still on the legs. And, uh, and I have to, I have to work on that to, for about, on my punches to be more, uh, more deadly, yeah, and uh, and uh, for the before the fifth round, I thought about I have to end it. There is because man, I can't still believe it <laughs> because it, it was a tough, it was very tough, tough fight. Yeah, but sometimes it, it's like that. You have you have to do whatever. Thank you. In the first round, when uh, Glover got mount and was giving you ground and pound, were you talking to him? Uh, when? When he was giving you ground and pound. Yeah, 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 yeah. What were you saying to him? I told, I told, I told him, him, I said him, very nice, very nice, but still nothing. <laughs> I, I wanted to, to show him uh, his ground and pound. He had no power to, to end me. Yeah. But, but he had the power enough to open me. <laughs> and that was, more, that was very bad. That was very bad. And, and it was right after I started to smile at him. I started to smile at him and then he opened me, opened my eye, <laughs> my eyebrow. And I said to myself, okay, it's no time for fun more. Do you usually talk to your opponents, or was it something special about Glover in that situation that made you want to do that? Oh, when I see his, he, when I see if he have my attention, yeah, if, he, if I have his focus, so I, 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 I like to talk with him. I like to talk with him to, to to play these, uh, uh, like, how to say, mind games, yeah? To show him he has nothing in his hands to take his power and take his power and, and reverse it, yeah. When uh, Jan spoke to you after the fight, was he being aggressive or was he being friendly, Jan Blankovic? Uh, <laughs> it was, a little bit friendly and a little bit aggressive. After, after I said him yes, okay, let's go. You're the next. He started to be aggressive, like because he saw the cameras and all these things. I think he, he tried to 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 flex a little bit. Did you blow him a kiss? Huh? Did you blow him a kiss? Oh. What? Did you blow him a kiss? I thought I saw on the camera that you sort of made a kiss at him. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I hear the kids. No, oh, no. I, 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 I said him, I love, I love you. <laughs> because he was, he was so aggressive. Yeah. First, he was smiling to me, everything, and, and it was good. And after the fight, he was aggressive. I want to fight. I want to fight. So I said, I love you. I love you. Yeah. Let's talk in the cage, like. Excuse me. Uh, when was uh, the hardest moment uh, during this fight? Uh, I think that was the that was the the arm triangle. The arm triangle. He was. It was very deep. It was very deep. And I told about. He know how to how to choke it. He know how, what which moves to do, and he know know that uh, very well because he's the jiu-jitsu specialist yeah so 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 I start to do uh, so I started to do something something more 
then I realized that when I want to win, I have to do everything, something, something more. Uh, how much was luck on your side uh, during this fight? Uh, how much was uh, luck on your side during the, this luck. fight? Luck. Luck. Just like good luck. Yeah. Luck. I'm saying that the, the, the luck is every time uh, on your side when you stop thinking and uh, and honestly starting doing doing the thing. Uh, with belief, with a good, uh, from your heart, yeah, and that's all about when you, when the, when your, when the luck is on your side. Thank you. Hello. Uh, yes, Yuri. Uh, you seem critical of your performance, but you did get the belt, uh, you did get the win. Can you talk a little bit about how you will be celebrating this? I know we heard that you want to buy a car and things like that. Can, can you talk a little bit how you will be celebrating this uh, performance? You know, <laughs> uh, I never imagined that before, but I am confirmed with my friends, we want to take a boat, some ship, and to celebrate it uh, somewhere on the sea. Yeah, and enjoy the, just enjoy the time because after my last fight with Dominic, I, 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 I didn't celebrate, celebrate enough. And I think that was the mistake for the next fight, <laughs> for the next preparation, because you have to train a lot, fight a lot, and then celebrate a lot, because it, it's it's very important part, yeah, because you have to give everything for your celebration, to show yourself how important is this. And it is important. <laughs> I'm looking forward for that. Awesome. So obviously, Glover is uh, one of the oldest uh, UFC champions, and you're starting your uh, championship reign. Uh, do you see yourself? Do you see yourself as someone as Glover uh, fighting in his 40s? Do you see that career for yourself? I see myself. Like I'm somebody who who's watching uh, my fights and who who's, I'm realizing my mistakes. And it's if, if if these mistakes and all these things around, it's good for the for the work on it. I will work on it. That's my motivation. Yeah. My, like I said, my highest motivation is the mastery, mastery in every kind of, of my life. And I want to show the clear fight, clear fight. But in a clear fight, you have to be ready to show the tough war. Doesn't matter. And that's. Uh, two different things, very diff different things, but you have to be ready for both. Awesome, and, and just one last question. Um, obviously, you stand out as a fighter from your appearance, the hair and everything. Can you just uh, explain a little bit the thoughts that go behind it? I think a lot of people maybe see it and just think that this is just something superficial, but I understand for you it's, it has a connection with your way of life. Yeah. Uh... Like I said, like people who knows me, they know I like the samurai ideas, Bushido moral codex, and if you want to be the champion, you have to wear like that. And this is the, this is my, like, how to say, 
the king's 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 wearing. Yeah. Now I'm the champion, so I have to wear like that. And I knew that I will, I will be before the fight. I believe in that. Well deserved. Thank you so much. Jiří, jestli můžu to zkusím v češtině, ale to bude asi jednodušší. Nejdřív gratuluju k výhře. Jak ji počítáš, že budu vlastně oslavit? Bude to divoký, jako byl ten zápas? Yes. Yes. Máme, we, we had prepared everything. Guns, ships, everything. For, for celebration. <laughs> Uvědomuji si vlastně, že jsi vlastně byl ten největší místě český MMA, měl jsi dosáhnout, už to jakoby napadlo, na se to nějak přemýšlel po tom zápase. Ale, jak jsem říkal, uh, mám fakt ještě ne, nebo ještě 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 Je mi to úplně, ne, ne, je mi to jedno, <laughs> ale pro mě hlavní to, že prostě vím, co, co jsem dělal za chyby, fakt já v tom, v tom, když v tom člověk sleduje svůj, ten svůj smysl, který, který do toho dává, co, tam, co se tam stalo, proč se to stalo a uvědomuje si to a ví, že to může udělat příště líp a bude to tak, tak prostě to je mnohem cenější než to, že někdo, že mě mají lidi za někoho, jo? A to je spíš podsta, že můžu lidem ukazovat svoje bojové umění v nejvyšší uh, soutěži světa a získat pás. To je pro mě podsta. A je ten nový rozměr v tom, že ty vlastně jako by fanoušci čekají, že budeš vlastně vítězit na KO a teď vlastně vyhrá na submisi. Je to ten nový rozměr? Já, jak jsem říkal, musíš ukázat prostě, že uděláš cokoliv pro to vítězství. Že dáš v pobyt cokoliv prostě. I Jestli je to v prvním, v druhém, třetím, čtvrtém nebo v pátém kole po, po roztrženém ksichtu. Jo, je, to, je to fakt, je to, je to jedno. A to se ti otázka, dokážeš si představit, co to bude znamenat to tvoje pro český MMA, vlastně jako pro růst, pro popularitu a dál? To mě řekni ty. Já nevím, já doufám a věřím, že, že, že to bude motivací pro lidi, ale v tom smyslu trénovat prostě pořádně. Víš, jako nedělat zbytečnosti, nedělat prostě kraviny, nabít víc sebe důvěry prostě, ne, netrénovat prostě uh, milion hodin nějakým prostě zbytečným způsobem, jak jsem to mnohokrát dělal, ale trénovat fakt tak, abych se posunoval prostě, abych, abych si uvědomoval chyby, Posunoval se, zakomponoval to do svého životního stylu, zvítězil, tím, zvíz, zvítězil v boji přímo pod kamerama v, před, před, před tisíci divákama. Tečka. Děkuji. Doesn't matter where. Doesn't matter where. Right. Yeah. I mean, I was. Uh, I told my friend about you a long time ago. I've got a few friends in the Czech Republic, and they, they only know about hockey over there. But now he's on the phone to me now, asking for tickets to see Prohaska. <laughs> yeah, that's that's his problem. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you like that? Thank you. I'm not. I'm. I don't. Not, don't I don't care. But it's not on me. Uh, the tickets or betting on me or all the all these things I on me is just to show the best performance and I will do everything to, to do that to show my my sharpest weapon my body congratulations <laughs>